Hello friends, welcome to TechCube Gate classes. My name is Professor Vivek Singh Rathor and I am Assistant Professor in Government Engineering College Bilaspur in Electronics and Telecommunication Department. In this video lecture, I am uh, teaching Signals and System subject and this is the sixth lecture of this, uh, this series. So earlier we have seen many type of elementary signals and basic operations on these signal and in the last lecture we have started classifications of signal and in this we have studied real uh, valued signal and complex valued signal and our uh, continuous time signal and discrete time signal. Now from this lecture, in this lecture I will be dealing with uh, another type of classification, another, another classification of signal that is even and odd signal. So let's get started. Uh, see, okay, I will start with here. I think uh, I'll write here um, even and odd signals. Okay, so see, from childhood we have studied what is even uh, numbers, what is odd numbers, but here we are studying what is even signals and what is odd signals. So see, uh, there is a criteria for uh, justifying that uh, it is an even signal or odd signal or uh, we need to, uh, we can uh, uh, detect it is an even or odd so uh, see a signal i am taking this one signal and uh, this signal is like this okay let's suppose this value is minus 1 to 1 and the magnitude is 1 this signal is uh, has been asked that it is an even signal or odd signal so the first criteria uh, which we should know for uh, detecting it is an even or odd is that if you are taking a signal ft okay and if it is equal to f of minus t f of minus t you can understand because we have already studied time uh, reversal okay so if ft is equal to f of minus t you can definitely call it as a even signal simple concept okay and if your signal ft is equal to minus of f of minus t then f of minus t is time reversal and this is magnitude uh, reversal so uh, even this uh, condition satisfied odd signal so this two condition you should remember but if your uh, signal is neither equal to f of minus t or neither equal to a minus f of minus t then see uh, either it will satisfy this condition either satisfy this condition either it will it won't be equal to f of minus t and uh, minus of minus f minus t so this condition if your signal is like this then it is neither even nor odd so this con three conditions you should remember for uh, seeing a signal is even or odd okay so let's see <clears throat> and first of all i will tell you see every signal in nature every signal every signal will consist of both part okay uh, it will it won't com uh, consist definitely both part but uh, generally a signal have uh, both FET and FOT where FET is even part and uh, FOT is odd part means a signal has some even part some odd part okay so uh, whenever you, uh, uh, you need to see in even signal obviously odd part will be absolutely equal to zero okay so uh, FT will be equal to FET and uh, the condition will be even signal part and if <coughs> your signal is only odd part uh, only odd signal okay so uh, for that case even part will be absolutely zero so only the signal will be having odd part or component only okay and uh, the condition for calculating means uh, if a signal is given to you and you have been asked that um, calculate its even part and odd part so how we can do it so for even part for even for even part of any signal you just need to add ft plus f of minus t by 2 okay and for odd part of any signal you need to do ft minus f of minus t by 2 the this 
formula this basic concept you should remember for even and odd signal only i have told you uh, if ft is equal to f of minus t the signal is even f of t is equal to minus of f of minus t that is odd signal and both condition doesn't satisfy that is neither even nor odd every signal consists of even and odd component if you need to calculate even component you just need to add ft plus f of minus t by 2 and if you need odd component you need uh, you will you have to do ft minus of f minus t by 2 just this much now let's check uh, for some signals either they are even or odd so i have already already taken one uh, signal so this signal is there okay and uh, it it ranges from let's suppose minus 1 to 1 and magnitude is 1 this is ft now i have told you the condition first uh, check it f of minus t okay so if you do time reversal so just it will uh, uh, be rotated across uh, uh, y axis so this will be like this only and here again it will come like this only so uh, you can see f of t equal to f of minus t so this signal is called as even signal and see uh, we will take another example let's suppose uh, like this signal is there okay and this signal is there okay this signal is there and uh, this is, uh, is ft and uh, this is minus 1 1 and uh, this is uh, i think uh, sorry this is minus 1 and this is minus 1 so now uh, let's take f of minus t so what we can do uh, we need to just do time reversal so this will come like this and this will come i think like this okay so this will be plus 1 only this will be minus 1 only this will be 1 and this will be minus 1 but uh, you can see this both is not equal uh, so this is definitely not uh, even signal so let's try minus f of minus t so uh, just uh, magnitude reversal will do it so we'll do it like this uh, magnitude reversal means this will come uh, in downward and this will come in upside okay so this will be like this and this will be like this so this will be plus one only this is minus one only and one and this is minus one uh, you can see that these both signal f of t and minus of f of minus t are equal so definitely you can say that this is odd signal so see uh, generally odd signals are also called as anti-symmetric signal because because it doesn't satisfy symmetric property na? that's why it is called as anti-symmetric property uh, anti-symmetric signal and whenever we say even signal we always say it is a symmetric signal okay it is a symmetric signal and uh, let's see one more example uh, we'll take it like uh, this okay uh, some value is there minus 1 to 4 and the uh, amplitude is 1 now this is your ft okay now you need to plot let's suppose we'll plot f of minus t what we'll do we'll do like this and this will be time reversal so it will be here 1 and this uh, sorry i think this will go like this okay so this will be 1 and here it will come minus 4 and amplitude will remain same but see you ca uh, you cannot say both are equal so it is not equal to 0 uh, both are not equal so let's plot f minus f of minus t so when we will do like this it will come f of minus uh, minus f of minus t means it will come downside okay so it will it will be like this 1 and minus 4 see both signal also you cannot say that this is equal so this signal uh, which we have plotted this one this is neither even nor odd okay uh, neither even signal nor odd signal it is uh, uh, or uh, it is it can be said as non symmetric signal so I have told you both uh, all symmetric signal, anti-symmetric signal and non-symmetric signal. So these are all the conditions. See one more thing I want to tell you. Uh, whenever we add actually f of t and f of minus t. You know uh, f of t and uh, when equal to f of minus t it will be even signal only. So whenever we add these both uh, signal we will get uh, always even in nature. Okay let's see see one signal we have seen okay uh, 
this signal we have seen minus 1 to 4 this uh, signal is neither even nor odd means it contains some even part and some odd part that we can know so let's see if it is ft and if uh, let's plot f of minus t then you will get uh, i think from here to here 1 and minus 4 this is ft and this is f minus t if we add both then what we will get we will get c from minus 4 the signal started so minus 4 will start the signal and at at minus 1 again it is uh, amplitude is 1 only it is there is step change so we will again do at minus 1 ok minus 4 minus 1 and then it will go on uh, at 1 there is step change of 1 so at 1 we will tell as step change and at uh, t is equal to 4 there is a step change again so it so see this signal is f of t plus f of minus t and uh, this signal if you see it you will get it that it is an even signal see one uh, uh, shortcut or one uh, conclusion i will tell you whenever a signal is symmetric across y axis you can definitely say it as even signal and whenever a signal is symmetric about our first quadrant and third quadrant then this um, uh, signal can be called as odd signal this is just a conclusion after seeing so many signals so uh, here also we can prove that this signal was neither even nor odd but we know uh, that uh, whenever a signal ft when it, it is added with f of minus t then it definitely whatever the output will come that is always even in nature so this can be asked in some objective type of questions and whenever we do f of t minus f of minus t will always get a odd in nature signal okay if you want to try you can try also uh, here f of t was there okay minus 1 to 4 and uh, this was uh, uh, 1 and minus 4 this of f of minus t uh, if you want to see minus minus f of minus t we can plot it like this okay uh, 1 and minus 4 and this value is 1 minus 4 so you can add it f f t and uh, plus uh, this one signal you will get uh, this so we will do it okay uh, till, see uh, from minus 4 minus 4 the value is uh, step change downside it is going on and suddenly at minus 1 there is a step step change at uh, this so it will be minus 4 minus 1 and it will go on like this only at 1 again there is a uh, i think huh, at uh, minus 4 and it goes on and then uh, again it is like this only mm, and uh, okay so i think this was a mistake so uh, it goes on like this only at t is equal to 1 okay t uh, is equal to 1 uh, it, at t is equal to 1 there is a step change above so we'll do it step change above and then at t is equal to 4 it is step change downside so it will be step change at downside this so you can see it uh, this signal first quadrant and uh, third quadrant are similar in nature so this signal will be odd in nature so this you can conclude it and there only we have seen the f uh, t will be equal to even part component plus odd component and uh, even and odd component also i told you how to calculate it so uh, let's see some other examples like if you see cosine signal you know cosine signal uh, cos t if you do cos of minus t you will get it as cos of t only see these both are same f of t and f of minus t then this signal will be even in nature only so you can plot it like this also cos t is like this and uh, this is also like this okay i think Huh, this is like this so you can see both uh, quadrant first and second quadrant are similar in nature this signal is called as even signal you if you plot like this uh, so, some signal is there e to the power minus a mod t so this signal is also similar in nature you can uh, do mathematically also uh, you can do it so this will be also even in nature but uh, let's see some uh, signal like uh, sign signal is there sign signal is uh, and like this it's there 
so sin of t and sin of uh, minus t you will do you will get minus of sin t and uh, minus f of minus t if you do it will come again sin t so this both are equal so this signal is sin t is odd signal if you see signum signal signum so this is our odd signal okay signum t so both are quadrant are same so it is a odd signal but if you calculate for unit step okay unit step signal what we will get you see see unit step signal is uh, unit step ut is there okay uh, and ut can be represented as 1 for t is greater than 0 and 0 for t is less than 0 uh, ut is like this but uh, you, uh, whenever you will do u of minus t you will get as this signal okay but these are uh, both are not equal so let's do minus u of minus t so minus u of minus t you will get like this okay so uh, again these both are not equal so uh, that means ut unit step signal is neither even or neither odd it is not even an odd, uh, nor odd so what we can do so uh, you i have already told you every signal con consists of some even part and some odd part you need to calculate even and odd part so for even part you need to do uh, f of t plus of f of minus t means ut plus u of minus t by 2 so whenever you do u of t u of t is like this u of minus t is like this and uh, the magnitude is half so we'll do half okay S signal so can you uh, say it as a dc signal and uh, the value will be only half only okay so u et will be half value okay and uh, u ot okay u ot that is odd part for odd part you what you need to do u of t minus u of minus t by 2 uh, if you want to plot it you can plot it see u of t is like this u of minus t is this one and uh, negative portion will be uh, this one so and uh, uh, the magnitude is half okay so what we can plot it this is the signum function so u of ot will be signum of t with the amplitude half so now if you say uh, u of t will be equal to u of et plus u of ot then it can be half plus half of signum t this can be represented as ut so this uh, expression is also very very important many times this uh, expression has been asked in engineering service exam gate exam so this uh, expression now you can understand that how this expression comes because it is a uh, component of even and odd part so we have calculated it like this now we can see some of the property for even and odd signal like see whenever a odd signal okay whenever a odd signal is multiplied with odd signal what happens okay so you can do it uh, uh, you can multiply with uh, signum t and uh, sin t or you can do sin t into sin t so you will get cos square t so uh, sin t into sin t sin square t and that will be uh, uh, mathematically we can write cos 2t so somewhere uh, we will get it as like see uh, uh, signum t into sin t is there whenever this signal is let's suppose f t is there now if you take f of minus t what you will get signum of uh, minus t into sin of minus t uh, minus t you will get it as uh, as uh, uh, signum of minus t when you will do see signum of t is like this and signum of minus t will be like this okay so it is just a uh, uh, signum t it will be and uh, sine of minus t will be equal to minus of sine t okay and uh, signum of minus t will be like this and uh, whenever you do minus signum of t what you will get see this is this was signum t you will do minus of signum t means uh, magnitude uh, reversal so it will come like this and this will come like this so you can see minus of signum t is equal to signum of minus t right? so you can write it as minus signum of t and uh, sine of minus t will be equal to minus of sine t so it will be equal to minus into minus plus so you will get again signum t into sine t so uh, what you can conclude is uh, f of t 
will be equal to f of minus t it means uh, the output of this signal will come as even part even so odd signal when multiplied with odd signal you will get always as even signal so this should not be remembered this you can do it if you are having confusion otherwise it is simple if it's the same thing you can calculate for even into even also you will get even signal only you can take any example and you can justify or verify it okay and uh, whenever you will take odd into even okay odd or into even like uh, uh, sin t into cos t if you will take and just do mathematical expression you will come to know it will come as odd signal only so you can treat it as uh, plus into uh, whenever you do na plus into plus you will get plus okay plus into minus you will get minus minus into minus you will get plus like this uh, is there so uh, minus you can take it as odd and uh, plus it as even and you can calculate it so uh, this was uh, there and uh, for differentiation whenever we differentiate a signal like uh, uh, this signal is there okay this signal is there minus 1 to 1 and whenever we differentiate it okay what we will get see uh, it is a slope uh, what is the slope value slope is 1 1 minus 0 by 0 minus minus 1 hai na? so it will come 1 so slope is plus 1 and here its slope is minus 1 so you can say uh, I told you earlier also that uh, whenever uh, ramp signal is differentiated it will come as step signal and step value will be uh, same as uh, st uh, change in uh, slope so this is uh, the value this is the value of step there is a uh, plus slope so there is a plus step change and value will be 1 there is a uh, at t is equal to 0 only there is a step change so this will be the step change and then again uh, at this point uh, there is a step change so we'll do it like this and this so uh, this signal uh, I think for this is first and second so this signal will be I think uh, odd signal so whenever uh, you do differentiation of even signal whenever you do differentiation of even signal you will always get odd signal and whenever you do differentiation with odd signal d by dt of odd signal you will always get even signal this uh, all are some property of uh, even and odd signal now only less uh, thing is uh, left we have already seen some real valued signals and uh, we have seen how to do uh, 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 how to check even and odd part there are complex valued signal also in uh, continuous time domain so uh, for co uh, a complex valued signal let's suppose we are taking some example of e to the power jt this is a best complex valued signal uh, for example so this is actually called as cos t plus j sin of t e to the power jt that is called as Euler signal so uh, for complex valued signal is also the uh, almost same condition see f of t when it will be equal to f of f of minus t uh, this signal was even uh, signal but in complex valued if f of t is equal to conjugate of f of minus t then it will be a even conjugate signal okay even conjugate signal or it can be called as conjugate symmetric signal if the signal f of t will be equal to minus f of conjugate of f minus t then it will be called as or conjugate si signal or conjugate symmetric signal okay so you can remember it as or conjugate signal or conjugate sy anti symmetric signal so we were uh, about to see uh, this signal e to the power j t is conjugate symmetric or conjugate anti symmetric so e to the power j t whenever this is f t now whenever we want to do f of minus t what we can do e to the power minus j of t and if we are doing conjugate symmetric so uh, wherever j part is there we will do a negative sign uh, opposite so uh, earlier it was negative so we will do it positive so you can see f of t is equal to f of minus t conjugate of f of minus t then e to the power j t will be our conjugate symmetric signal okay conjugate symmetric signal this is the conjugate symmetric signal but whenever we uh, let's see one signal f of t is equal to t into e to the power j t this signal is there okay 
now uh, uh, if you want to do f of minus t what we can do uh, minus t into e to the power minus j into t wherever t was there it is replaced by f of minus t if we see conjugate of f of minus t will, will do it minus t will remain same e to the power wherever j is there will do reversal so it will be plus j t so can you say that uh, f of uh, t is equal to f of abstract uh, f of conjugate minus t it is not there but whenever we see f of conjugate f of minus t we will get uh, see minus sign will be there so t into e to the power j t so this portion is equal uh, both are same so this signal can be called as odd conjugate odd uh, conjugate signal or conjugate anti symmetric signal okay and uh, for conjugate and uh, this conjugate signals also means uh, complex signal also see every value every value every signal will have uh, if it is a complex value signal it will have both component even conjugate part also and odd conjugate part also okay odd conjugate part also like even uh, a signal consists of even part and odd part same as even conjugate part also odd conjugate part also so for calculating even conjugate part you what you need to do you need to do f of uh, t plus f of uh, conjugate of minus t okay by 2 and same as odd conjugate part you uh, can do f of t uh, minus f of minus t conjugate okay by 2 so almost the same thing is there which we have studied in real value signal also and you can calculate it very easily uh, it is very easy for calculating it okay so uh, this was the uh, portion which we have seen in this and uh, you can see it for discrete time signal also because discrete time signal also uh, the signal will be f of n only okay so what we need to do f of uh, n equal to f of minus n then it will be even signal f of uh, n when equal to minus f of minus n then it will be odd signal and when both are not satisfying it is neither even nor odd part okay and uh, same with uh, our uh, even conjugate part also so in complex value to signal for discrete time signal also we can calculate so uh, this was uh, the thing which uh, i wanted to tell you for even and odd part i think you uh, after this lecture you must be confident for solving even and odd signal uh, next lecture we will deal with some other classification like uh, what are periodic signal and aperiodic signal so till uh, for uh, till then okay tata bye bye see you have a good day